Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. In today's episode, I am bringing you top interview question and answers on DBMS. DBMS stands for Database Management Systems. This, inter this particular episode will help you crack any interview that you are attending on DBMS. If you have any doubts or queries, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Also, before we get started, I request you friends to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much. Let's get started with DBMS top interview question and answers. So the first obvious question that is asked is what is DBMS? DBMS stands for Database Management System, which is a computer software application that allows user and other applications to view, monitor and analyze your data. It's an application where to handle data on various entities and subjects. Can you list various types of interactions created by database management system? Now, there are various kinds of interactions supported by DBMS, like data definition, data update, data retrieval, and administration of the data. So what are the features of database languages? So database language is used to create and store data in your computer. DBMS itself is one of the features of database language, which is a software application for management of data. Database language also facilitates modification and alteration of query results by averaging, counting, summing, etc. Database language enables users interactions with other applications. So what are different relationship, ex, uh, relationship databases existing in database? So a relationship in database is established when one table has a foreign key and references to the primary key of another table. So the, the way the relationship between tables is done is based on multiple connections. It can be one, one to one, it can be one to many, it can be many to many relationship. Now state some of the commands of DDL. Now DDL stands for data definition language. So DDL commands are used to modify and edit the structure of the database table systems. Some of the important commands are create table. So this will help you in creating a new table in your database. Alter table. So this is used to change or edit or update the existing tables. Drop table. Drop is used for destroying all the table and all the recorded data in it. So remember drop will de delete and everything. So these three commands are categorized as data definition language because they will alter the schema of your database by either creating, altering or dropping. What are the different cursor types available in DBMS? So the different types of cursor, ta cursor types available in DBMS are dynamic, static and key set. So a database cursor enables traversal over the records in database. So that is how it will go and fetch and query all the records in your database. So dynamic cursor is a highly subject to changes while scrolling the cursor. Static doesn't show any changes while scrolling, but it, it also works on recording of snapshot. Now key set, it enables the user to modify the data without displaying the new data. Enlist the type of cursors. So there are two types of cursors. One is implicit cursor, one is explicit cursor. Implicit cursors are automatically created whenever a SQL statement is executed. The user will not know about this. Whereas an explicit cursor is created with the awareness of the user. It handles all the PL SQL query in one row and exercises more control over the context area. List few restrictions that are imposed while creating views. Now this is another question which is often asked to check your knowledge. There are certain restrictions that are applied while creating views. Only current database can have views. No other database is allowed to have views other than the current database. 
you cannot make any changes in the computed values of any view. You cannot apply full text index definitions. Temporary views cannot be created and temporary tables cannot have views. It is not associated with any default definitions. There are high there are integrity constraints that define the working of commands such as an insert or delete. Triggers such as instead of a is a associated with always with views. What is join? Mention its types. So join depicts a relationship between one or more tables. When you want to join one or more table, we'll, we'll prefer joins to query those table. It combines rows of different tables and enables you to select data that we want. There are several types of joins in different databases like cross join, natural join, inner join, etc. But the two most important joins that are preferred in practical is inner join and outer join. Inner join will always return the values that have matching records in both tables. The outer join will return all the records of the left table first and then append all the values that match with the right table. So remember, this is the key difference, guys, between inner join and outer join. You are bound to be asked this question, so prepare it well. How index hunting contributes in improving the query performance? So index hunting is viewed as an important part of database management system. It enhances the speed and the query performance of the database. It is done in following ways in order to coordinate the study of query with workload query optimization. It also suggests the best use of queries based on the optimizer. Performance of query distribution is checked and moni monitored to know there are effects. Turning complex databases into small chunks of query is also recommended. Mention some of the disadvantages of a query. So there are no indexes in any query. Trigger and procedures are set no count on. Sometimes joins are complicated and complex are excessively compiled and it is time consuming. List few ways to code transactions in an efficient manner. It is imperative that transactions are kept as short as possible. It should be short in order to reduce contention for resources. The following are few guidelines for coding transactions. It doesn't require input from users during transactions. Transactions must not be opened while browsing through data. Make use of lower transaction levels while transacting least information of data must be accessed. All right, so that brings us to the part one of DBMS uh, top interview question and answers. There is more series coming out of this parts. So please uh, watch out for this space. If you have any doubts, any queries, drop them in the comments section. I'll be happy to help you for free. Also, my friends, I recommend you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much. See you in the next part.